Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter seven, lesson 10. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. Um, okay, so well, it says that Val walks two and three fifths of a mile each day. Bill runs 10 miles once every four days. So Bill is 10 miles after four days. And we need to find out how much Val is after four days so that we can see who has more, okay? So all I did was add up the two and three fifths of each day and we're going to add them up find out okay so i'm going to take my whole numbers and i'm going to pop them over here okay and then i'm going to rewrite just my fraction okay so now we know my denominator is going to stay the same but i have three plus three is six plus three is nine, plus three is 12. Okay, now five goes into 12 because the top, oops, sorry, Ben, you can't even see that. So the top is bigger than the bottom. That doesn't work for us. So five goes into 12 two times, okay? That's for 10. 12 minus 10 is two, and my denominator stays at five. So I'm gonna take that whole number, and I'm gonna move it up there, okay? So now I have two, four, six, eight, 10, and two fifths. So who ran, who covers the greatest distance? Val, done. Okay, make sure that y'all show your work. Okay. Number three, you guys are gonna do that. You totally can. Okay, we are gonna go and do number four together though. Okay. And it says a carpenter has several boards of equal length. He cuts three fifths of each board. After cutting the boards, the carpenter notices that he has enough pieces left over to make up the length of four of the original boards. How many boards did the carpenter start with? So I took the leftover, okay, his leftover pieces. So not the three fifths, but three fifths, or sorry, five over five minus three over five is two over five. So I added up two over five, okay, and I added it up 10 times just to see how many I'm going to get, okay? So two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And my denominator is 5. Okay? So, 5 goes into 20 four times. I wanted four boards. Four of the original boards, which means he cut, or he had originally 10 boards. He had two fifths left over from the first one, two fifths for the second one, two fifths for the third one, and so on. Okay, so he had 10 boards originally. Okay, make sure y'all write down your work. Okay, we're going to go over to the back where y'all can do the lesson check because you're brilliant and you can. Okay, and we're going to do this for our review. A frog made three jumps. The first was 12 and 5 6 inches, the second was 8 and 3 6 inches, and the third was 5, 15 and 1 6 inches. What was the total distance? Well, let's add them up. Okay, so we have 12, and I'm going to put my 5 6 down here. I'm going to sort them out early this time, okay? So 12 and 5 6, okay? 8 and three six and 15 and one six, okay? All I did was separate out my whole numbers and my fraction, okay? So we all know my denominator is gonna stay six, okay? Five plus three is eight plus one more is nine, okay? Well, Six goes into nine one time. We'd have three left over, and my denominator stays the same. So whatever it is, my fraction part is going to be. Oh, wrong question. Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. My fraction part is going to be three six. Okay. But I need to find out all these numbers added up. Okay. So twelve plus eight is twenty. 
20 plus 15 is 35. And one more is 36. And remember, we're measuring in inches. Okay? Write your work down, guys. Okay? Not on the wrong problem like I did. Okay. All right. Danian wants to write the fraction 4 6 as a sum of its unit fractions. What expression would he write? Well, I would just put 1 6 four times, right? There you go. All done. Greta made a design with squares. She colored eight out of the 12 squares blue. What fraction of the squares did she color blue? Well, so how many squares were there all together? 12, that's gonna be our denominator, okay? She colored eight of them blue, boom, okay? Now, can we reduce that? Well, four goes into eight and 12. Four goes into eight twice. Four goes into 12 three times. You can do either one of those, okay? The teacher gave us this pattern to the class. The first term is five. The rule is add four, subtract one. Each student says one number. The first student says five. Victor is 10th in line. What number should Victor say? So. Here's the thing, y'all, okay? When the rule is add four, subtract one, okay? We're gonna go and just add three. Because when you're adding four, then subtracting one, it's just adding three, okay? So, hold on just a second here. Okay, so actually the, the second student is gonna say the add four one, and then the third student is gonna say subtract one. Okay, so instead of doing what I just told you to do, okay, so we would start with five, okay, add four, which is nine, subtract one, which is eight, add four, which is 12, subtract one, which is 11, add four, which is 15, subtract one, which is 14, okay? So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, guys, okay? Add four, which is 18, subtract one, which is 17, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, y'all, so add four, it's 21. Okay, make sure that y'all show your work on there. Okay, all right. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Chapter seven, come on back to chapter eight. See you soon.